Hey, kindergarten. Last time you heard from me um, by clicking on the Mona Lisa, you saw how to get your pumpkin painted. If you missed that video, you can just go to my YouTube and you can find it on there. But this is going to be the part two to that. We're going to draw our pumpkins on our line orange painted paper. Let's get started. All right, artists. So I have my orange, yellow, and red pumpkin painted paper here, and I have some lines I drew in. You can use um, whatever you'd like to draw out your pumpkin. If you want to start with a pencil first, kinders, you can do that because pencil can erase. But I'm going to go for it. I have these, um, these dot markers that are actually filled with something called India ink. You can also draw out your pumpkin in brown or red or darker orange or you can do black like me. I just find that black is easier to see. You're gonna start by looking at your paper and thinking about, well, if I didn't cover all my sides white, let's say maybe you ran out of time. You wanna make sure your pumpkin is completely colorful. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep your pumpkin in the space that your orange is. So you gotta think that your pumpkin has a body and it also has a stem coming off of it. So I gotta make sure that all can fit. So I'm gonna start by drawing an oval shape, almost like a long circle onto my paper. Top. And draw out my oval. If your oval isn't perfect, that's okay. Pumpkins are not perfect themselves. So now we're going to pretend that we're feeding this oval and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Even more bellies because we're filling and filling up and want to fill up our paper until we can't anymore. So I'm going to take from the top of my oval and I'm going to make a curved line going down the side of my oval. And bring it all the way to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on my other side. So I'm making its belly and pretending I'm feeding my pumpkin. Awesome. And now I'm gonna do this a couple more times on either side because I have room. So I can feed my pumpkin even more. I can do another curved line. And I can go to the other side and I can do one more curved line. Now I'm not gonna do any more because if I do any more, could go onto the white of my paper and remember I want my whole pumpkin to be orange. Now I'm going to draw my stem. You want to be careful because we don't want to draw a perfect square on top of our pumpkin because that's not how pumpkins really look. They don't have perfect square hats on their head. So my artist, I'm actually going to kind of curve a line here and go straight across and go down. Yours does not have to look like mine. Yours can look however you would like. When this is all dry, mine, you might have not done yours like me and that's okay. You can cut it up um, by cutting it out along the outside of this and you can then have your pumpkin or feel free to paint the background or to fill in the background and make this one big art piece. I'm gonna cut mine out and mine dries. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, artists. So it looks like my pumpkin is basically dry. I have my scissors here. And if you have a loved one with you that um, is helping you with the scissors, make sure to have them show you. So you see how these scissors have a wider part here and then a smaller part here because your fingers are supposed to go in here and then your thumb is supposed to go into this little hole. With scissors, make sure to never point towards yourself or anyone else. If you walk around with your scissors, 
please make sure to hold the sharp side in your hand and to walk with them. So no running or even <laughs> skipping because you want to be safe. I'm going to cut around the edge of my pumpkin. And voila, there it is, my finished pumpkin. Kindergarten, you could even continue to draw in here um, or add whatever you would like. You could add um, paper spirals to your pumpkin. You could add this to a background. It is up to you. Let me show you what we're going to do in class with spirals and how to make those. All right, artists, to make your little spiral for your pumpkin, you can just take a strip of green paper. It doesn't have to be green, or if you have white computer paper, you can color it green. And you are gonna fold it down and actually roll, roll, roll it. Or you could even take a pencil and roll it onto your pencil and you're gonna suck it up. Slurp, 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 slurp it all, all, all the way up onto your pencil the best you can. And when you have it all rolled up to keep your spiral paper, it's gonna make your little swirls for your pumpkin, you're gonna pull the pencil out you didn't use a pencil, no worries. You don't have to worry about pulling out a pencil. And give it a little hug, a little squeeze. Ooh. And it will create this beautiful spiral that can go onto your pumpkin. So I could glue it onto my pumpkin right on there. And voila, I could add as many different types of greens as I would like. I could do brighter greens and I could fill it right on up. Great listening kinders. I hope this helps you out and um, if you are making your pumpkins at home. Super listening!